Hey, what's up guys? This is Jonathan Lampel with Blender HD and in this video we're going to be going over collapsible joint topology. So this is going to be a really quick video. It's a really simple concept but it's pretty awesome. So I was looking for a simple model to get online just to use really quickly. I found this one but the problem is is that the joint doesn't quite bend correctly. And now if you've looked at topology a little bit you'll know that you'll need at least three edge loops around the point of deformation in order to get a good bend. So let's go ahead and add that in really quick. So we can just add in a kneecap right here just in the center, pull that out to maybe make a knee. And if we go back to bending, you can see that we now have a much better bend. But there's a little step further that we can actually do to improve this. So we're still getting a little bit of stretching. And what we can do is go into edit mode on the mesh take these edges here and I'm just going to delete and dissolve or delete edge loop and what that's going to do is make two triangles right at the back of the knee and then it's going to lead into the kneecap so usually you want to avoid triangles when modeling for characters or animation and stuff like that because they're bad for deformation but in this case in this really particular case triangles are good for deformation because what these two edges are allow us to do is once we have our bone selected let's go into pose mode is those edges are actually going to collapse down on themselves until they are non-existent so there is zero stretching possible and it's also a low poly alternative so if you do that instead of just placing a single edge loop you're going to get a little bit better deformations and you're also going to save a little bit less than 100 triangles per character so that definitely helps it's not a huge amount however it's definitely noticeable, looks better, and you'll save a little bit of geometry. So thanks for watching this quick video, and I'll see you on BlenderHD.com.